Hey everyone, I just came across a idea for a TV in a camper uh, in my quest to have, I uh, got a solar set up here. I don't think I have the, uh, let me put it back up here. We've got a, uh, just a basic Harbor Freight solar system set up to recharge our 12 volt system in the camper. 105 amp hour lead acid battery which gives me about 50 amp hours of of working time um, but what I'm trying to do is be able to be as uh, sufficient without running the generator as possible and of course um, lights and television are kind of the biggest things along with charging devices which all can be run off of 12 volt and that was my plan so I've switched all my lights over to LEDs, which uh, cuts back tremendously on the draw. I think it's like one-tenth of the actual draw of what a uh, standard bulb would take. And for a TV, I came across this. I did a lot of research and uh, trying to find a TV that would be good for the camper uh, that's going to run off of uh, a 12-volt DC system. Um, as you know, most TVs are going to have an AC cord that goes directly into the TV. Uh, you're kind of limited in size. I believe this is a 24 inch, which is about the biggest. Yeah, it's a 24 inch, which is about the biggest you can get that runs off of DC. Uh, but what you're looking for is you want to be able to have an input like right here, this little barrel connector that says DC input. Okay. And what it actually comes with is this AC adapter, which is your AC. And then this wouldn't be cut. I've cut it. And on the other end, you'd have this as a connector and that plugs in to power your TV you know, through your AC power. Uh, so what I did is I cut this connector off and this is what it's going to look like when you, when you open it up, you've got the shielded ground wire that wraps around the power wire, which is the 12 volt. Uh, I mean the, the signal, uh, now this runs off of 19 volt DC and this is about a two amp. I believe it was 1.2 amp. Yeah. 1.2 amp. Uh, power supply. Okay, so you're going to want at least 1.2 amps at 19 volts The power coming out of your camper battery is 12 volts DC So you can't just hook this directly into your 12 volt system and be able to power your TV But I did get this adapter on Amazon. I'll show a picture of it up in the description here. I mean uh, up on the uh, the video uh, and this is just a, uh, a DC to DC converter which you've got your 12 volt power input your positive and negative and then you've got a 19 volt 3 amp output okay um, which is your positive and negative here the positive is yellow in this case uh, so what I did is I spliced it into the original cable that we have here and we're able to plug that right into the TV and now we basically have a 12 volt Television. Okay, so this is an LG smart television. I got it at Best Buy. I believe it was just over $100, maybe $149, $129. I can't remember. Uh, it does have uh, WebOS on it, uh, which is great for streaming from your phone without, without a network. Uh, so you can actually, you know, just use your tablet or phone or laptop or whatever and stream directly to this TV to be able to watch content. Uh, I can actually stream it right from uh, this uh, Android stereo that I added in if I wanted and have a library there as well uh, But this is the remote it comes with what I like about this is again because it runs off of DC We can run it in a camper and it's also white um, most most uh, TVs that you see Most TVs that you see are not white and I think this uh, it's kind of like a white and gray I think this goes good with a camper uh, So the plan is I'm probably going to do a little drop down mount let's see if i can do this with one hand and i'm looking to maybe kind of have it above the bed right like this okay a little drop down mount and something that maybe swivels around to this direction in case we want to watch tv and the rest of the camper uh, but this is just a uh what i came up with for a solution uh, like I said, hundred. I think maybe it was one hundred and forty-nine dollars. I think they they run a sale on them every once in a while. So for one hundred and sixty bucks, because you got to buy this inverter on or this uh, converter on Amazon, you've got a DC powered smart TV, basically twenty-four inches. I believe it's just seven twenty p, which is fine for 
the size screen that it is. Um, like I said, it's uh, very capable for, for the size, and I like that it's white. Like I said, it'll kind of look good in the camper. I, sorry I keep repeating myself, but those were the points and the things that I was looking for when I was trying to find a proper TV to do this. <clears throat> I am going to save this. Uh, it would be nice. Another option you could do is get some type of universal connector and place the connector on this inverter unit here as well as on here so you could switch this barrel connector back and forth to be able to use it still with AC if you wanted or the DC. Uh, right now I'm only planning to use the DC. The other cool thing is I can get a power supply. All of these lights throughout the whole camp are all 12 volt lights and the wiring is plenty sufficient to be able to run this one amp load especially now that I added uh, LEDs in here. So I'm able to tap into the 12, 12 volt supply basically anywhere there's a light and uh, connect my TV mount and basically have a wireless installation. You know, I'll be able to hide the wires, you know, maybe just drill one hole where the mount is so you won't see it and have the TV mounted up here really nice. Uh, maybe I'll do a follow-up video on that. And I'm going to plug into my 12 volt system just here temporarily. Uh, just to show you that it does indeed work. All right, we're going to go ahead and turn this on. Let me just show you. Just got the uh, converter. The positive just jumped right to my main positive right now and my negative to my negative bus bar. So we just have a 12-volt uh, going into the converter. And then we're plugged in on the back of the TV here. And we'll go ahead and fire up believe it's just a uh, power yep there we go and there it is of course I'm not going to get anything in but there's your uh, your menu system along the bottom with all the apps and the uh, options it has also has uh, I think it's over here yeah little side menu here picture mode aspect ratio surround sound sleep timer all settings <clears throat> got a really nice little operating system in this TV which is one of the reasons I picked it you know you've got the mirror cast uh, it's got its own apps you can actually download apps uh, wirelessly you could just connect to a wireless network or a wired network and there's where all your settings are for that right here and uh, yeah it's web OS right now I'm not connected to uh, to any internet but you could certainly uh, connect to your phone and uh, stream that way you know you know what to do with a with a TV nowadays but uh, yeah so I wanted to share that with you guys hopefully it saves somebody some money you know if you look a lot of uh, camper ready TVs they're up you know three hundred dollars and and they're garbage you know they're they've, they're not near as modern or uh, as as capable as this is for uh, streaming content and getting with the times. so but uh, yeah I just kind of temporarily stuck this in here disconnect it probably just set this up on a little bit of a switch because uh, I'm assuming this converter is going to pull a little bit of power even when the TV is not on. And, you know, obviously with the uh, the solar system, I want to conserve as much as I can. But this TV drawing that small, uh, you know, t probably, uh, what is it? Uh, well, that it's going to draw three. I don't know. Yeah, it's not going to draw. It's only going to draw what it needs. So, you know, it's like an amp and a half that it's going to draw to run this TV out of the, uh, the battery system in the, the camper, which... I've got it uh, set up on the solar. Like I said, I just have the one solar kit from, uh, what is it, percentage? Yeah, I still have 100%. Yeah, so <clears throat> I just have the uh, one panel set up. I think it's the 100 and, or 200 watt panel set up from Harbor Freight system in here, which is just enough to refresh basically the battery that I use for any lights, you know, overnight. Uh, I'm able to run this small power inverter up here uh, for a fan for sleeping at night as well as uh, the TV now. Uh, so I should be able to run all of that stuff pretty much throughout the night uh, with no issues as far as power goes. I won't have to fire up a generator or be plugged in to, to shore power when you're boondocking. So that's the idea is I'm trying to convert anything that I might possibly need, uh, especially at night, to uh, DC power which pretty much is how a camper is set up. But up until that point, the, uh, the TV was the only thing I had left to do. So again, I hope this helps somebody out and, uh, I'll put, uh, I'm sure you've already seen it. I'll put, uh, you know, uh, screenshots of this TV that I just got from Best Buy, as well as the 
DC to DC converter so you know uh, which one to get. There's a bunch of these out there. This happened to match the specs that I needed and it was uh, kind of a nice little sealed unit. You know, this could be basically hidden up into the ceiling. I can pull this light down, hide this in here, tap in our, our, our voltage there. And uh, this one little wire is all I need to power that TV. So it's going to be a really nice clean install. All right, guys, have a good one. One other thing I wanted to mention, another option you could do for powering that TV. You could get a uh, cigarette lighter adapter set up like this with just the positive and negative wires that you can hook into it and connect that into this inverter here or converter. I keep calling it the wrong thing. And most campers have uh, some type of, uh, you know, cigarette lighter output somewhere. Uh, this is where the TV is supposed to go. You know, back in the day, this is a 2001 camper. So back when, you know, you had more tube style TVs that would take up a little more room. So this is kind of like a TV setup here where you have your antenna and to be able to plug in and, and all that stuff. But <clears throat> this would be another place where if we, we ran it into one of these adapters, we could just plug into anywhere that there's a you know, a cigarette lighter or in your truck if you want it in the back seat. Uh, you know, if you have a, a crew cab or whatever and you've got kids on a long trip, you could actually make this kind of a portable TV that you could plug in, you know, kind of a portable monitor you could plug in and run right off of your cigarette lighter as well. So I just wanted to add that into the video.